Greetings and welcome to another Warhammer Underworlds Diachasm Battle Report. Today sees me use Kanan's Reapers against Rob Howard and his Headcrackers Mad Mob. This was a webcam game that was recorded live on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash can you roll a crit. Now you may notice I sound a bit different but that's just because I'm recovering from surgery basically but I'm still well enough to play. Uh, so a bit drained from normal, but still good enough to roll crits. Uh, so yeah, this is me showing off the new Ossiarch Bone Reapers Canaan's Reapers. So for like deck lists, I'm going more for like just a standard aggro swarmy build. My plan is just to, you know, kill the enemy fighters and wipe them out, going for like supports and really actually maximizing the more tech fighters with stuff like punching up. They can do lots of damage because they can get lots of dice and yeah, lots of damage. And with more tech advance, you can build off a lot of supports, but also means they need to be very positional because, you know, uh, when you want to get that Naderite bonus, you need to be having lots of supports with and playing around their movement are free. Rob, however, is going for like similar to what I used when I first showed off Headcracker's Mad Mop, which is a primacy set the tempo build because, you know, with primacy objectives in general, you get a lot of hybrid and dual objectives. So it makes sense to go with set the tempo and they can just pump up a lot of attacks because they will be getting the primacy very easily against this warband. So it should be very interesting. Um, uh, and yeah, I've left something in, which well, I'll explain after the game. It's kind of a big error, but I, th I thought it was worth leaving in because it shows how easy anyone can make that mistake. Obviously, I correct it and catch it, but I think it's a good catch. And it shows you what little mistakes can like cascade. Uh, but apart from that, please remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the game. Oh, and I am actually using unpainted headcrackers mad mob this time because some people got very upset that uh, I used proxies instead of, you know, because I couldn't paint them. So now I'm just not going to paint them because people got more upset that I was using proxies instead of an unpainted miniatures. So, you know. I'll paint them eventually, but um, I'm actually going to focus on painting Kanan's Reapers because they're very easy to do because uh, they love contrast and I can do them how they paint my army. But yeah, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the battle report. All right. So uh, then we roll off and then after roll off, you get to do your tireless trackers. Yeah, uh, Vintras asks, Vintras are on the primacy card, only a card in your deck. Oh, okay. Uh, I've just got a full support. I got a double support and a crit and an additional crit as well. So would you like to go first or second? I'll be honest, first sounds pretty good. Does, not going to lie. Very good. Uh, well, good luck. Uh, you also get to do your tracking, Tyler's tracking. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put Daco onto number four. Yep. Gonna, you've got perch there where it's comfy. Yep. Um, let's see. Do I want to start popping my little guy around? So that's going to wallop. It's like you can do some... Some decent swinging. Oh, yeah. But the way oh, I put him, like, if you choose to push... a dangerous spot if I do. Um, well, yeah, because well, I've had to place my leader there, so you can't... Because if I pushed... If I placed my leader to the left, you would have been able to push Wallop next to uh, Senna. Yeah. So I've had to do that to keep Senna safe, annoyingly. So I'm actually not going to push um, the other one. I'm going to keep him there. Cool. Uh, just for ease... All right, so then it... Uh, well, it's your first activation then. Uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Yes, good luck. Good luck. Um, may all your dice be crits, except defense rolls. Oh, no, no. Everyone will just roll crits. That'd be the perfect game. Everyone's just rolling crits. Okay, um, I think my first go then. Yep. Um, wallop is going to go for a charge. Yep. He's going to do some walloping, hopefully. Indeed. Go one, two, three, around the side next to um, your non mace guy at the front. Two dice looking for smash. Yep. Uh, we got one single support, so nothing there, and a crit. Can I roll a crit? Nope, a dodge. So he dies. So you get at least two from that kill. Well, you get a glory from the killer and the primacy. Uh, one glory there. I've got me primacy token. Who would you like to inspire? Uh, oh, yeah, this is my inspiration first, not before other bits. 
I think Tooth Dagger might be about to get punted, so I think uh, I'd better inspire him. Yes. Some more defence rolls on him. Following that scoring, I score Surge of Aggression. Yep. For game of primacy. Yep. Um, and I also score Brought to Bay for killing you in your territory with a hunter. Yep. So you're on free. Okie dokie. Um, drop some cards. Indeed. Um, in the power step, I'm going to play Frenzied Search. Yep. Um, thanks to Daco holding that objective. Um, we're going to discard a Sting of the Agro. Okay. I'm going to try and drop some, hopefully, some good stuff. Ooh, okay. So would I like to play any power cards? Yeah, I will play Exceptional Efficiency. So uh, when you play this card, I'll pick you. Uh, you either give me two tithe counters, or in the next activation, I can reroll any number of dice in a friendly Mortec attack roll. Ooh. Um, I'm actually quite scared about having tithe counters, I think. So I'm going to let you have a reroll. Cool. It's a reroll for every dice. Yes, yeah. Cool. That's fine. Would you oh, like yeah. to play any power cards? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put Scavenged Armor onto Warlock to Skull. Cool. So he's got a guard to uh, no power cards from me. Any power cards? Let's have a think. I'm going to play the Great Stomp. Okay. So I push each friendly fighter up to one hex towards the nearest enemy. Yep. Um, so I'm not going to push Wallop. I'm going to keep my ears. Yep. Um, I'll push two stacker one towards uh, Kanan. Yep. Um, I'm not going to push my leader either. This one. Yep. Sort of thing. I will push uh, Daco one uh, one forward. So it's sort of between the two starting hexes there and number four. Ooh, interesting. No power cards for me. Any power cards? Um, nothing from me. Okay, let me just make sure I've read Mortic Advance properly. <laughs> okay. So it's I about to get mad. <laughs> uh, if I can do a crazy thing. Don't think I can because of their slow movement, but... Oh, gosh. Analysis paralysis. What do I want to do? Um, oh, yeah, your leader's got... I mean, he's not your leader. Tooth, uh, Tooth Dagger's got two dodge now because he's inspired. Uh, might as well. Give him to survive. <laughs> he does. Um, yeah, so I will charge with... Bin Arkenta, two hexes, one, two. So he's adjacent to um, my leader. Then I will react to do more tech advance to move Karu, Karu the guy with the mace. So yeah. he's two hexes. So he's adjacent to your archer and Bin Arkenta. And yeah. then I will react with more tech advance again to move Hakor. So he's adjacent to two of your fighters. That just got very busy. Yes. Um, that's a scrum in the making. Yes. <laughs> uh, so uh, then I will attack... Uh, what's his name? Uh, your archer. So it's two smash with full supports, and I get to reroll everything because of exceptional efficiency. So I rolled a crit and a support. So you can't defend it, and I'm not going to reroll that, so you take three damage. Ow. That, uh, that stings. Yeah, and then I will... Um, Drive you? Oh, I can't drive you. Back. I can drive you back. Do I want to though? Uh, and then I'll leave you there. So you take free damage. One, two, three. So you got one wound left, and that's my crazy combo. Uh, uh, put that there. Power step. I will pass any power cards. Oh no, actually, yeah, I will drive him back. Actually, next to uh, what's his face? Oh no, I won't drive him back. Yeah, because I I've moved. I haven't been pushed yet. So no drive back. They're just where they are. And I'm not playing any power cards. Or else I could have done something massive there. I could have stopped that entire thing. Oh. Uh, but I forgot, so whoops. <laughs> oh. I will know for next time. Okay. I did ask quite how good that card would be for blocking you. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah. Kent to charge, but the rest moved up. So the other two have moved. So Hakor and Karu have moved tokens. Because of more tech advance. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I actually can't do that. Uh, no, I can do that. Sorry. Wait, let me just read that. Uh, da, 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 da. More tech advance. Half of this card. Oh, I can't actually do that. Um, 
because what's his name? Bin Arkentar doesn't have more tech advance. So that's the thing I need to remember. He does not have that rule. So because more tech advance says after a fighter's move action, after this fighter's move action, choose someone, but he does not have more tech advance. So um, I will reroll the support then because it not? I thought he has it on his card. He doesn't have it. Uh, so if you roll a crit, you don't take any damage. Nice. Uh, I roll a crit. Yep, there we go. Um, so in that case, I'll just leave you there. So good thing I spotted that. Uh, but yeah, so that's my bad. It's but that's fine. Those guys, yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, a nothing for me. No power Are cards. You sure we can't do it? I he, do, he, he doesn't. Have, he doesn't have more tech advance because more tech advance says after this fighter's move action. Absolutely. And he does not have more tech advance. Sad day. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but them's the breaks. Yes. It's a good catch by me. Uh, but any power cards? Because no power cards for me. No, a tactical thing here. I don't do tactical. I'm an orc player. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many wounds does um, Hakor have? Uh, they all have two wounds apart from Binar, who has three, and then Mir Kanan, who has six. In which case, I'm going to play Swarming Advance on the power step. Okay. Um, the target will be um, Wallop over here. Yep. And we're going to push... Um, does, it, does it have to be two? Up to two. Uh, we're going to push Headcracker forward one. Okay. Um, uh. Don't want to push anyone else that way. Yeah, I'm also going to push Tooth Dagger, I think. Um, one towards him. I'm going to go one to there. Okay. Uh, no power cards for me. Any power cards? Yeah, I'm going to put Hunter's Talisman onto Tooth Dagger. So let's roll an extra dice. Yeah, he's rolling five dice now. Cool. No power cards for me. I think I'm finally good. Cool. So it's your second activation. I've got through so many cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, wrong one. Let's have a think then. Someone's going to do some charging, I think. It'd be rude not to. Um, I think that person will be Tooth Dagger. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's movement four. Uh, he is, yeah. It's reasonably swift. Uh, and he's going to go round everyone here. One two, three, four into the starting hex where Kenta was earlier. Okay, yep. And have a great little chap there. Yep. So five dice, bit of crit fishing. Let's see what we get. I'm assuming he's not quarry. No. No. Uh, we get two hits and a crit. Uh, he's dead, free damage. So get one for the kill. Anything else you score? Um... Not this time round. Okay. Um, any power cards? Uh, no power cards from me. Uh, that more tech advance lack of rule. Like, even though I pointed out in the review, it's really messed up my game plan. But that's my fault. Um, oh, I'm going to... Yeah, I will just charge... What's his name? Noam behind the lethal, and he's going to shoot Daco. Right, so two smash. Do I want to? Yeah. Two smash. Uh, failed to hit, I think. Uh, power step, I'll pass. Okie dokie. Any power cards? I should have played a card again. I keep forgetting to play a card in my hand that would be really good to play. <laughs> um, I mean, it would make no difference to the outcome there. Okay. Um, oh well. Think, Rob. <laughs> I think a card in my hand is like a different card, but it's not. <laughs> ah. Cool. Um, let's see, go into my uh, third, third activation, yes. Um, what we're going to do is make a charge with Daka. Yep. He's going he's to be brave here. Oh. So I should have done something else earlier, you see, because it would have been smart. He's <laughs> uh, going to be brave and charge through the lethal hex. Oh. One, two, three under that starting hex. Okay, so he'll charge. Uh, so he's there. Uh, I will react with counter charge, and I will push uh, Mir Kanan so he's 
next to your archer. It's a very good card. If I had it in my hand, I remember to play it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking it's like blindside. Um, so I was like, he charged me. I could have just bump someone in for support. Exactly. Uh, uh, but yeah, counter charges after a move action of enemy is part of a charge to push a friendly fighter free hexes so they're adjacent to that fi enemy fighter. But um, it can totally block up Mortic Advance. Yes, yes, it can. Um, which I forgot about earlier as well. I'm doing really well here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would, who would so you like to attack? Painkillers. I'm hampered by just being me. Exactly. Uh, exactly. We both got handicaps today. Oh, yes. For me, it's just plain old stupidity. <laughs> okay, two dice, double crit coming up. Who are you shooting at? Oh, sorry, I was shooting at um, the bow guy. Okay. Uh, there is one crit in the roll. Um, uh, so I need a crit. I rolled a crit. You can still drive me back, though. Um, yeah, for what it's worth, I'll drive you back. Um, it was not the intention. I was hoping for a, a nice little success there. But... <laughs> uh, where would you like to drive? Okay. I'll... So I thought I was going to push you back. It was uh, number three. Yep. Um, any power cards? Um, no cards from me. Uh, yeah, none, none from me. Uh, so for my da, 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 third, I will just attack your Daco. Two smash, you're supported. Uh, I failed to hit anything, so no dice. Power step or pass. Okie dokie. Um, power step, I'll raise your pass with a pass. Yep. Uh, for my final, Ed Crack is going to make a charge. Yep. And he's going to charge into Hackle. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. Just there. All right. I assume you're using his bone crushing spell. Uh, that only seems fitting to cast a magic and bonk you on the head. Exactly. This is too focus. I've got rolling lightnings though, so it's got to <laughs> happen here. <laughs> we have a seventy-five percent uh, chance to hit. That was a focus and a crit. I got uh, a crit in every roll today. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. Well, it's just he's dead. So. Uh, there you go, you get one for the kill. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you like to play any power cards? Yes, I would, I think. I'm going to play Claim to Domination. Okay. So at the end of the next activation, the player with the highest number of surviving fighters in enemy territory gains the primacy token. Uh, I thought you can't play it because you already have the primacy token. Uh, it might be a backup. <laughs> if you can't uh, well, because this is the weird thing under diachasm rulings, um, you can't. I think it's fine, but you, you know, because you can't play the card if you can't fully meet it. But yeah, it's fine. No power cards for me. Any power cards? Um, no power cards for me. All right. So then, for my last activation, my leader will charge into objective four into uh, your head guard uh, wallop. So two smash, and I missed again. All the attacks. Oh no! Yeah, uh, but I do but score. Holding an objective in enemy territory with my leader. Well, holding an objective with my leader. So I get one glory for that. And there we go. Yeah. Power step. I'll pass. Um, I'll pass as well. Uh, so scoring. You went first. Did you get anything? Uh, yeah, I scored team effort for one. Yep. Uh, because all my fighters have activated. Yep. I also get dominant display, which is a scoring end phase if each surviving friendly fighter is in enemy territory and they've got the primacy. Yep. So I was fishing for a backup just in case you one shot at someone. Um, if you had any cheeky, cheeky tricks, but uh, thankfully yeah. I was okay. And I also score. Uh, I spent one for the primacy. Nice. Uh, I score proud commander because my leader is in enemy territory, so I get two. So I'm on three. Uh, what else? Nice yes. Uh, I will get rid of. Oh, I forgot to play that. It doesn't matter. I'll get rid of Swarm in advance. Um, I think... I'm going to ditch counter charge as well, by the way. I've missed yeah. my chances, I think, with that one. <laughs> uh, I'll spend... Proud Commander is any end phase. Oh, is the third end phase. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't. Oh, this deck is terrible, then. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've... That was... Oh, dear. I'll get rid of Proud Commander. Uh, my deck is jank then oh dear um oh no i will f i'll You've get rid of excuse, uh, though, it's synchronicity. 
Uh, I'll just play Hatred of the Living. So it's Awakened Weapon on Minar, uh, Kanan. Then I'll just draw one objective and oh, that five power cards. Oh, uh, my leader, sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, so I need to get rid of Proud Commander. Oh, no, is that for the next one? And then we just roll off. Uh, so I likely may have lost this, but I'll see. Uh, so I've got two crits. I'm losing my dice. Um... I do not get two crits, so up to you. Uh, I will go first. So he loses that. So let me clean up the counters. Yeah, I kind of have to. So my leader will attack, wall up the skull again. Two smash with a reroll. One hit, reroll in the miss. Uh, one hit, so you need a dodge or a crit. And that's on who, sorry? Uh, wall up the skull. Uh, nothing. So you take three damage and I'll leave you there. Then in the power step, I will play Dire Ultimatum. So you're minus one dice unless you're attacking my leader. That's fair enough. Uh, any power cards? Uh, so at the end of that as well, I score. Here we go, because all my fighters are in your territory. Okay, yeah. Uh, for one. Yep. Uh, any power cards? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put Strength of Terror oh. um, onto Wallop, I think. No power cards from me? I'll put Spirit of the Beast onto Edcracker. Uh, what does that do again? When you gain the primacy, uh, you can spy us some else. Um, Spirit of the Beast, it's, if you have the primacy token, when you give this upgrade to a fighter, the fighter's inspired. Yep. Or when you gain the primacy token, the fighter's inspired. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And they're on guard when you've got the primacy. Yep. So basically, it's a double inspire if you play it before you've got primacy. Yep. Cool. Any cards? No power cards from me. Uh, cool. I'll also play Victimize. Cool. No power cards from me. We'll try and get some dice out. Cool. <laughs> For my first, then. Yep. Uh, Wallop's going to charge. He's going to run around the back onto number three. Cool. And try hit that pesky bow guy. It's causing him no end of trouble. Yeah. So he's plus two dice, but minus one. Yep. So he's free smash. Yeah. Uh, we completely miss. Oh, wow. Uh, any power card? I don't think so. Just um, just tears, I think, today. Um. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, he's, he's got those. So he's got that. Uh, okay. Trying to think. So he leads us there. I will put a reaction to that, actually. Yeah. Um, so I'll play on Hinge Ferocity and Inspire him. Okay, so he's inspired. Uh, no power cards from me. Any power cards? Um, nothing from me. All right, so then for my second activation, Noam will just shoot his bow into Wallop. So it's two smash. Uh, two smash, so you need two dodges or a crit. Um, let's hope for, well, crits. Yeah. Uh, I can reroll this because of my lucky war paint. Uh, yeah, you can reroll one dice, yep. Yeah. I've got the one dice anyway. Oh, yes, yeah, so he doesn't get four two. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I keep That's doing fine. This. Uh, it's just this game. Uh, uh, power step or pass. Power step. I'm going to put Proud Runner onto Tooth Dagger. Oh, no power cards for me. So I want to clarify for you here with Proud Runner. Yeah. Uh, if I make a move of five or more from where I started, I gain the primacy, don't I? Yes. Um, if I'm making a charge, um, do I gain the primacy into the move, then make the attack? Or do I still gain the primacy at the end of it? Well, when does uh, Proud Runner say it triggers? Uh, when the efficient move action, five or more hexes away. Oh, this is... It's more just for my own benefit, really. Uh, I think you would get it before the charge. Uh, I So it says it's not after this fight is a move action, or... Uh, this is each time this fight finishes a move action of five of my hexes from where they start. Yeah, so it would be before you attack. So you would, but you wouldn't inspire, you would inspire, but you wouldn't inspire until after the activation. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a weird move for an orc now. Something almost unheard of, I think. Are we just going to move away? I don't know what's, what's best for me to do it. There's so many choices. So much fun to have. <laughs> um, it's, it's really odd, like, so I just don't know what else you might have that you can do to me. Uh, well, I think it's fair to say I've lost this. Like, uh, my <laughs> deck is like... Uh, um, I think what we're going to do... Yep. We're going to use a possible move from Proud Runner, but we're actually going to try and get primacy with it. Okay. Um, so my second... Um, two things are going to make a charge. 
Yep. He's going to go uh, one next to Kenta, two into the lethal hex. Okay. Uh, three back next to the bow guy. Okay. Uh, four, five to that starting hex at the back. Give a weird run around and hurts himself on the way through. Okay, for cover ground, okay. Oh, uh, no, you can't. You move him, yeah. Just, okay, that's fine, yeah. Just, just hurts himself. Um, then, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, hopefully smack you at the bow guy. Um, probably five dice. Thanks to Hunter Tasman. And minus one because of my uh, oh, yes. ultimatum. It's a good ultimatum, that one, isn't it? It's really yeah. good. Really, got really good. Uh, we get uh, a crit. He's uh, dead. Support, support there. So that'll be one. Yep. Uh, I'll gain primacy. Cool. Uh, at that point, Ed Cracker will inspire because of the Spirit of the Beast. Yep. Um, I'll also inspire my final guy, Daka. Cool. Uh, do you score anything off of that? Uh, I do finally score Green Fury. Uh, what's like that? Attack action if, uh, with a fighter who has one or more wound tokens. Okay, yep. I've cool. done a good job of um, getting that wrong so far today by not succeeding. <laughs> uh, any power cards? I have no power cards left now. Okay. Um, uh, neither will I. So for my third activation, I will charge into objective five and stab Daco. Uh, oh, uh, at Kenta, yeah. At Kenta, yeah. So two smash. Uh, miss. There we go. That's this game. Uh, pass to Papas. Uh, I score shell force after that. Yep. There we go. Because three fights in your territory. Yeah. Uh, any power cards? How many wounds is Kenta, by the way? It's three, isn't it? Three, yep. He's reasonably juicy. Um, cool. For my third, then. Yep. Actually, you've got any more cards to play, sorry. No, no, nothing. Uh, if, if I could succeed with an attack, I could, but I can't. Yeah, I said that the dice have been yeah. very one-sided this game. Yep. Uh, so it's your third activation? Um, yeah, my third then. Uh, an inspired Ed Cracker, I think, is going to make a charge. Yep, I'll so put it on One, next. two, three, four. Cool. Next to Daco, next to Kenta. Yep. I'm going to try and do some of that good old-fashioned magical bashing. Of course. Oh, um, let's see what we get. A focus and crits. Oh, I get one focus. Uh, so I need a block. Uh, I roll a block, so he survives. Live to fight another day. Uh, yes. Uh, any power? Are you going to drive me back or leave me there? I think I want yeah you know, just a two range aren't you I suppose yeah prevents any siding shenanigans that could potentially help you out so yeah I will push you back one uh, next to the edge hex there cool I'll play oh. lethal act oh no but do you want to play any power cards sorry I got the order mixed up power cards. Um, as I'll... a note as well if you want like, I put a token on the board it's, it's clear oh, fine. I'm the I'll... spirit of the beast um, because I've got primacy egg cracker is on guard cool I'll play lethal accuracy so I get plus one dice in the next activation any power cards uh, nope all right, so then for my last activation, uh, my leader will just charge one, two, three, whatever. So he's one hex away. Uh, three, oh, actually, hold on. Let me think. One, two, three. Uh, he's too slow. Yeah, so he'll charge. One, two, three. Uh, two smash. Uh, Rerolling this. Uh, so two smash on what, uh, your archer. Okay. Uh, so that has got one dice re-rolling. Yep. Come on, Daco. You can do it. Uh, I got a block, so I'll re-roll that. Yep. There's a lucky one. Thing. I got another block. So that will be... Three damage. damage. So he's dead. We'll kill him. Uh, you just get one glory for the kill. Uh... Is that a good run, Daco? He's done absolutely nothing. What is this? <laughs> uh... We lost. I uh, don't score anything off of that, and then in the power step, I will just pass. Uh, okay. Any power cards from you? Um, no power cards. I haven't, I haven't got any. Um, All right. So for my fourth and final. Yep. yep. Uh, I'll just draw a power card. Cool. Uh, any power cards? 
Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, we'll put that one. Um, yeah, oh, I'm going to put Power of the Beast onto Wallop. So what's that do? Um, so it's plus one wounds. Yeah, oh, plus two, I have primacy. Plus two if I have primacy. Yep. Uh, so currently he's on... Well, he, he's taken three wounds, but he's still got uh, four left. Yep, uh, no power cards for me. Uh, no more for me. All right, scoring. I get nothing. Um, I will get rid of clean kills, and I'll put great strength with my other spent with my other glory onto my leader. Uh, oh, I get two tithe counters. I forgot because you had four wounds. Uh, yeah, so I get two tithe counters and. I'll get rid of Unstoppable Juggernaut and Tive Stone, and then I'll draw one and five power cards. Okay, uh, do you score anything? Uh, I do. Uh, so I'll get a spent one for Primacy. Yep. Um, I also score Awesome Predator for having the Primacy token. Yep. And I score Bold Deeds because all my fighters are in your territory. Yep. And at least two or more enemy fighters are out of action. Yep. Uh, all right. Oh, thank you, Silver Fox Painting, for following. Uh, let's see. All right. So then we roll off for. Re oh, did you want to play any upgrades? Sorry. Oh, I had no cards. To oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. dark deck. <laughs> see. Uh, so then we'll roll off for round three. Uh, I've got nothing, as usual. Um, let's see what we can pull off. Uh, I got one crit. All right. Would you like to go first or second? It'd be rude not to go first, I think. All um, right. So it's your first activation for round three. So Kent has got three wounds, yeah? Yes. And kanan has got six. Six, yep. And the uh, ultimatum, is that still in effect or is that gone? No, no, that's gone. Yeah, that stopped a while ago. Well, I'll stop at the end of round two. That's what you're saying. There's a chance. <laughs> In fact, I might actually... I'm just going to let you go first. Okay. Uh, for my first activation, I will... I will charge... Do I want to charge? I'll just... Um, first activation... Uh, do I want to do? I'll just attack your leader. Two smash... Oh, yeah. uh, two smash, so you need two dodges or a crit. Uh-oh. He's doing a lot of damage, isn't he? Uh, two. What, is it Kenta or Kanan? Kenta. Oh, Kanan's not in range. He shouldn't be. He's, he's too range, isn't he? Uh, he? He's not where I put him on. Oh, put him? oh I see. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. i got a bit of lag on my, yeah. my end. That's okay. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong dice. That would two attack dice. Work. Uh, I got one dodge. So you take two damage, and I'll just drive your back one so you're in front of Wallop. Uh, then in the power step, I'll pass any power cards. Uh, yeah. I'm going to play Primal Brutality to gain the Primus token. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, I'll react with Jewel of Wits to draw two cards. Oh, very nice. Power step, I will pass any power cards. Uh, yeah. I'm going to play the Big War. So, plus one dice to friendly fighters range one attack actions in the next activation. Cool. Um, if I've got primacy when I play it, it persists until the end of the round or until I lose primacy. Cool. No power cards for me. I'll put great strength onto Tooth Dagger. No power cards for me. Okay. Um, nothing else from me. All right. So, this is your first activation. My first go. Uh, Tooth Dagger's going to charge. Yep. Uh, he's not going far. He's going to go on to number five. Yep. Um, attack Kenta. Cool. So he's now rolling um, six dice. Yep. Uh, so what I'll do, I haven't got enough dice here, so I'll roll five and three roll one of them. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we've got two crits. Uh, so he's dead. Pops in. So that's uh, one glory for the kill. Yep. Um, I also score primal display. As a, I did a successful attack action, and I had primacy. Cool. Uh, any power cards? 
Uh, no power cards from me. I'll play distraction to push your guy against the to the lethal. Uh, any power cards? Uh, which one are you pushing there? Sorry, is that tooth oh, dagger. Tooth dagger. Sorry. Okay. Uh, any power cards? Let's see. Um, yeah, I'll play feign weakness. Okay. Um, so you get primacy. Okay. Cool. No power cards for me. Any power cards? Um, nope. Okay, so my leader will attack. Two smash with a reroll. Uh, with a reroll. Nope, missed. Power step or pass. And kill your leader now. Pardon? I think I can kill Kane in my last. Uh... I mean, with your dice, you might be able to, because I won't be able to hit you back. It's more getting to him. I've sort of scuppered myself. You're, you're very well positioned. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, my positioning's done well. My glory train hasn't. Uh, uh, so any power cards? No, I think I'm all right. All right, so then it's your second activation. My second go. I'm going to draw a power card. Cool. Any power cards? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put Lucky Bone onto Tooth Dagger. Cool. No power cards for me. Any power cards? Um, nope. Okay, so uh, for my third, I will attack Tooth Dagger again. Two smash. Uh, Rerolling. So I've got a crit and a hit. So we need to crit and a dodge. Two crits. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll roll some dice. Let's see what we get. Uh, we only get one crit. Um, so what did you roll, sorry? Was it crit and a... Uh, crit and a hit. Right. Four um, damage. So I'll use Lucky Bone as a reaction. Okay, was that two? Uh, so after the fight's attack roll, defense roll, or casting roll, discard the card. Yeah. If you do, you can reroll any number of dice in the roll. Okay. So I'll discard it. And yep. I'm going to keep my crit that I've rolled. Yep. And then I reroll the support. Yep. Um, nope, doesn't work. Cool. So I do four damage, I kill him, and I score Tithe Masters and Inspire because I get two Tithe Counters from killing you. Very nice. Uh, well, finally. And then I also score, uh, what do you call it? Gruesome Certainty for rolling a crit. So I get, I'm on five glory. So I draw one, two. Uh, then in the power step, this way, I'll spend one to give him Aura of Shaish. So he's minus one dice from adjacent uh, attackers. Yeah. Uh, any power cards? Nothing from me. Uh, oh yeah, he's dead. Uh, no power cards. Okay, um, nothing from me either. All so right. For my third. Yep. I'm gonna put um, Ed Cracker on guard. Okay. Uh, I score Ed show of force. Okay. Uh, I have three objectives. All right. Uh, oh, I can't actually see. So, how many wounds does? Headcracker have two uh, left. It has two wounds left, yep. um, but he's on guard. Uh, um, whereas Wallop has four left. No, three left because he hasn't got primacy. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so he's, uh, no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, no power cards for me. Any power cards? Uh, no power cards for me. Oh, so it's going into my last, isn't it? Okay. What activation are you on? Sorry. So I've had three goes so far. Okay. Yeah. So this is on to my fourth. Yeah. So I will spend a glory. I'll just give my leader primal lunge. Okay. Uh, any power cards? No cards for me. All right. Uh, yeah. So for my last activation, I'll charge uh, and. This could get nasty. Um. <laughs> Two dice with a reroll again. I'll so, oh, just a chat attack your leader. Two smash with a reroll. Uh, two smash. So you need two successes of a crit. Nice one. Oh, two dice. Uh, yep. On um, I fell that. Uh, four damage. Five damage. Ooh. And I sense a primal lunge is coming my way. Could be. Uh, so let's see. So that kills him. I get one for the kill. I don't score any. Oh, I score 
surge of aggression because I did a four plus damage attack. So I'm on That's eight. That then, yeah, might as well. I'll just discard the primacy to attack again with primal lunge. So two smash onto wallop. Uh, Rerolling two smash, so you need a crit with your reroll. Okay, so one dice. Yep. I'll come with my lucky war paint. First roll is a double support, so yep. I'm reroll. Uh, second one is a block, so that succeeds. So I kill him, and I just score one glory for that as well. You get, you get two for that one because he was a seven or six wound fighter. Uh oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. So Absolutely. I'm on ten. Have two glory on the house. There we go. Uh, power step, I will pass any. Oh, power step, yeah, now I'll pass uh, any power cards. Uh, no power cards for me. Uh, All right. Um, so your last <laughs> activation. I can do nothing. I have no uh, objectives to pick up, no power cards to pick up. Uh, my one power card I have is an upgrade. So uh, <laughs> I'm having a very quiet last turn. Gonna yeah, it's a very interesting result. Uh, so uh, I went, f we have no power cards for me, obviously. So for scoring, I went first. So I get, I don't get the primacy because I discarded it. Yeah. Uh, I get Nagash's will because three or more fighters are out of action for two. And then I get great gains because I scored a lot of glory that round. So I finished on 14. Nice one. Um, so I score smashing. It's a hybrid. Uh, either two or more enemy fighters are out of action, I've got primacy. Yep. Or three or more enemy fighters are out of action. So I score on the second condition. Uh, has um, that one or two glory? That's two glory, that one. Yep. And to finish it all off, set the tempo. Another three. Nice. Okay, so that's 25-14. So effectively, uh, Kanan scored me 12 glory. That, that yeah, you had turn. a massive catch-up in that last turn. Yes, so uh, he can do it. I mean, my... It wasn't really so. Like I don't think it was like uh, the dice did play an effect. The main problem was like that Mortec advance. So I think because if I had, if I had charged with a normal Mortec, that would have actually um, what do you call it set yeah. things up better. But I think that's good because it shows off how important the positioning is. So I don't think yeah, that was. Yeah, I missed counter charge there as well. Because um, getting counter charge, I suppose, is a really good card for stopping a Mortec advance because it happens after the move. Yes, charge. during it's a charge point. anyway. He's going for the charge. Um, Let me see. You've got the option, I guess. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I run counter charge in here anyway just for Kanan because his movement free is really problematic. So it just helps with that. I think the tech... Well, it, now that I know Proud Runner is third end phase, not Proud Runner, Proud Commander, Yeah. I, I realise why no one's running it. Uh <laughs> It's sort of like a, a slightly better conquest, I guess, if you're running someone big. So I think Crushers can do it pretty reliably. And if you're backing him up, I think Caden could probably do it too. Oh, no, I would but, never run a third end phase two glory objective. Yeah, I think at this point, we've got enough other decent two glory cards you can score on any turn um, that it's worth going with them instead. Oh, yeah, it's like that's... Because um, that's the problem. It, it, it's like, so I think, it, like, you played really well and then I... Did a lot of like respectable misplays, I would say. The good thing is I caught the misplays. So, but there was stuff like um like even forgetting the primal push. So, but I remembered it during um I remembered I forgot it at the start of setup, but I remember during setup, so I managed to work around that. Uh would you like another game? If you have the time. Um so what is the time now? Um... 7.40. Ooh, I might have been a managed one today, but if you want to have a rematch at some point um, later on in the week, I'm definitely yeah. down for that. Yeah, sure, that's fine, no worries. Um, no, yeah, that's fine. I think I need to tweak the deck a bit because I made, like, yeah, that's... Uh, but that's still an intro, like, because, yeah, even though I got wiped out... Uh, well, no, I, you got wiped out, yeah. So okay. even though you got wiped out, uh, you still won. There we go, that's, yeah. Basically, the whole, the whole deck I've got here revolves around being in your territory and two fighters being dead. Oh, yes. So if I can do that, I've, I'm pretty much going. Um, which is why I sort of ignored Kanan at the start. Um, I sort of went for some more techs because I thought if I can get a couple of them off, I can hopefully keep it rolling. Um, oh, no, yeah, yeah, that makes... Set the tempo deck. There's yeah. five hybrids and five jewels. Oh, set the tempo is really easy now. Like, um, I think it's like... 
for what do you call um headcrackers mad mob it's just like ridiculously good so for you it's quite hard because um the bone reapers have only got like one hybrid they've got they've got no jewels at all yeah because most primacies are either jewel or hybrids so they can score it really easily and because set the tempo doesn't have uh a final end phase restriction you can score at any time so yeah there you have it uh, round one kind of like that was the turning point for me it was very bad like only got going in the final round but as we said kanan basically got 12 glory by himself uh, so he got going just a bit too late and it shows how much of a threat he still is uh even though rob had amazing dice rolls you know aggro is aggro i i don't like blaming the dice i don't think it was the dice that messed up what messed up was me playing more tech advance wrong so it, it's funny because i said in the game in the review, I pointed out that uh, Binar Kenta doesn't have more tech advance. He just uh, he he can be triggered by it because he has the more tech keyword, but he doesn't have that. So if I had charged with someone else, uh, like if I'd put Hakor up there instead, then if he charged, that would have um, I would have got the attack off, would have scored roll a crit, and then that would have like unlocked everything for me. And you know. I did forget tireless trackers, but then I rem like I forgot it before we set up, but then I remembered it during setup, so I made sure Wallop didn't get that free push to attack. Um, but yeah, I think the main turning point was how I messed up my positioning. Because yeah, if I if I'd placed like Hackor there, then I would have been able to actually get a successful attack off and get going. And yeah, it, it just shows you how important positioning is for this warband. Because yeah, I don't think they did too badly. They, I mean, they did lose like 24-12 or whether 14 or something. But um, yeah, Kanan managed to score 12 glory by himself in the final round. So it, by that point, Mad Mob had already gone too far ahead. But, you know, uh, I think interesting cards you saw in the game were definitely going to be Primal Lunge, which come out with Kanan's Reapers, which everyone can use them this weekend. And yeah, I mean, Kanan showed it himself using just charging into Headcracker, kill, killing Headcracker, and then discarding the primacy with primal lunge to kill wallop so wiping two fighters out in quick succession so you know there's still a threat i think i need to tweak the deck especially with like proud commander because that was my fault for not realizing it's a third end phase because that's now as balanced <laughs> um but yeah i'll tweak the deck i'm actually painting them now uh and because like their contrast i don't need to do, do much airbrushing I, I should be able to get them finished quite quickly but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the battle report. If you want to see the warband more in depth, I've got reviews in the episode description. You can buy the warband at my affiliate link at Element Games for a 20% discount at no additional cost to yourself for helping to support the channel. And yeah, thanks to Rob Howard for playing in the game and showing how crazy Headcrackers Mad Mobs can be. But until next time, please remember to like and subscribe and keep rolling crits, even if you pay the tithe.